Hi everyone, good day to you. My name is Tim, and today we're going to create an iSCSI target and LUN on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6. For this demonstration, I have added a second hard drive to my system right over here. And with that second hard drive, I have created a 2 gig LVM logical volume, and it's right over here. So if you look at my diagram, this is what's going on. This is my Red Hat system, it's sand.example.com. This represents the storage, and this represents my Windows machine, which I will use for, uh, well, to test the connectivity to the SAN. I have my instructions right over here. So for this exercise, we need an empty LVM logical volume. You might be asking, why LVM? Well, because with LVM, you can extend your volume when you need to. This is very, very helpful. And I also need a Red Hat 6 uh, DVD YUM repository. For the LVM and for the YUM repository, uh, if you're not sure how to set it up, you can go through my older videos. I go into great detail as to how to set these uh, two services up. So for the directions, we need to install the SCSI target utilities, start the service, enable the service at boot up, edit the configuration file, reload the service once again, and then open up a few ports on the firewall, and then test our iSCSI target to see if it works. Okay, so let's begin. First thing first is yum install SCSI target details. We do yes. So it has a few dependencies. But still, it's, it's less than a meg if I remember correctly. Yeah, total 318 kilobytes. Uh, when it when it's like fully installed, probably just over a meg. Okay, very good. We're done with that one. So now we need to start the service, which is service tgt. I'm sorry, tgtd start. The d is for the daemon. Good, now we need to enable the service to start a boot up. So check config tgtd on. So if I type check config dash dash list tgtd, you see that the service is going to start on run levels 3, 4, and 5. Perfect, that's what we want. And now we, I'm sorry, we need to edit this guy. The configuration file. So before I do that, let me open up a new tab. And right here, if you type in this command lv display, you'll see right here the logical volume. This is the one we're going to work with dev.vg1 slash lv1. We need to use this uh, path for the configuration file. So we go to vim etsy tgt forward slash targets.conf. So let's go to somewhere in the bottom. And for this target, I'm just going to make it open. There's not going to be any security. Um, normally, you want, would want security depending on how you set up your, uh, your storage. But for this demonstration, we're not going to set up security. Um, we're just going to make things simple. Okay? So, open bracket, target, IQN, which stands for iSCSI qualified name. I'm using this year and this month. 11.com.example. My server is SAN, and I'm making it target 1. Okay. And I'm going to put down right here backing store dev vg1 lv1. So, if you remember, right over here dev vg1 lv1 alright let me close this target and that's it that's all you have to do write and quit so it's now let's we have to reload the service reload the TGT service I'm sorry that's my dog someone's probably, probably at the door so it's service TGTD reload and it's working very good 
Sorry about that. My dog gets really uh, loud at times. Let me close the door. My apologies, folks. You can't expect these things. All right, next thing. My firewall. I need to open up a few ports on the firewall, specifically TCP and UDP ports 3260 and 860. Okay. So the easiest way that I found out how to do this. Let me clear this. Just use the command setup. Go down to firewall configuration. Go to customize. Go to forward and click on add. So first one is 3260 protocol TCP. Okay. Then add again 3260. Then protocol UDP. Okay. Add 860 TCP. Okay. And add one more. 860 UDP hit OK hit close hit OK hit yes overwrite the current configuration because we want this to to start up during the boot up as well hit yes now quit now if I type in IP tables dash L I'm sorry you'll see right here let me open up a new window. So control T IP tables dash L. There we go. That's a lot neater. You see that we have opened up the ports for the iSCSI and the iSCSI target. Perfect. We are doing well. We close out of this. We close out of this one. Now let's see where are we? Okay. Oh, okay. So now we just need to test the iSCSI connectivity from my Windows machine. So from here, this is the Windows 2008 server. I click on Start, Administrative Tools, then you click on Computer Management. So it's loading for the first time. Because I have three VMs running right now in my system, um, it is a little slower, especially with Windows, but it's understandable. Okay, for storage, you click on this management, and you see right here, disk zero. That we only have one disk attached right now. So now I click on start, I click on administrative tools, click on iSCSI initiator. Now for target, type in, I want to type in sand.example.com. Because if I go back here, my diagram, this is my Windows system and this is my Red Hat system acting as a SAN. Let me go back to the Windows. I'll click Quick Connect. And we're connected right here. I'll click on Done. Let me close this window. And you'll see that a 2 gig uh, disk is now on. Uh, disk management. So I can initialize the disk. I can make a simple volume. Make it the E drive. I'll say this is red hat ice red hat lun. That's fine. Click next. And should be done formatting soon. 22 gigs. And we're good. Our new E drive is up and running. If I click on start, I go down to computer. And right here, Red Hat LUN, 2 gigs, online. Put in a new folder, Red Hat 001. Okay, wonderful. So this concludes our demonstration. I thank you all for watching this video. I do thank you for your time. I hope that this has been helpful to you. Um, and. Um, I just want to wish you all a very good day. Thank you, everyone. Take care, and God bless.